At Hillary Clinton's campaign, which is active on three major fronts tonight. One, debate preparation. Two, responding to that unexpected gift for her campaign, the Trump audio. And three, the fallout from newly released emails showing Clinton in what could be described as a disingenuous light. Fox News correspondent Jennifer Griffin has the story from here in St. Louis tonight. The Clinton campaign is not saying whether or not the new emails released by WikiLeaks are authentic. They are quoting members of the intelligence community who say that it is possible that whoever hacked into the emails could have altered some of them to make them more damaging, calling it a sophisticated Russian disinformation campaign. It should concern every American that Russia is willing to engage in such hostile acts in order to help Donald Trump become president of the United States. The emails released late yesterday include thousands Thousands of campaign emails apparently sent by Chairman John Podesta that reveal the inner workings of the Clinton campaign and contain potentially damaging excerpts from Clinton's Wall Street speeches. One excerpt from a speech given to Goldman Sachs in 2014 has the header, Clinton admits she is out of touch. Quote, obviously, I'm kind of far removed because the life I've lived and the economic, you know, fortunes that my husband and I now enjoy, but I haven't forgotten it. The speech excerpts also delve into her support for a single-payer health care system like the one in Canada. She also expressed praise for trade deals and open borders. Clinton spokesman Glenn Kaplan said in a statement, quote, earlier today the U.S. government removed any reasonable doubt that the Kremlin has weaponized WikiLeaks to meddle in our election and benefit Donald Trump's candidacy. Donald Trump tried to use the leaked emails to divert attention from his hot mic moment. Quote, Hillary Clinton's secret Wall Street speeches prove what we have known all along, that Clinton is a self-serving Washington insider who has continued to deceive the American people for 30 years. Clinton spokesman Brian Fallon criticized the media for playing into the hands of the Russians by publishing the mails. Quote, striking how quickly concern about Russia's masterminding of illegal hacks gave way to digging through fruits of hack, just like Russia wanted, he wrote on Twitter. Another discovery, comment she made about the Trans-Pacific partnership trade deal. My dream is a hemispheric common market with open trade and open borders, sometime in the future with energy that is as green and sustainable as we can get it, powering growth and opportunity for every person in the hemisphere. Clinton told a Brazilian bank in 2013, she added, we have to resist protectionism, other kinds of barriers to market access. RNC Chairman Reince Priebus issued a statement, quote, the truth that has been exposed here is that the persona Hillary Clinton has adopted for her campaign is a complete and utter fraud. How can Bernie Sanders and many like-minded Democrats continue to support her candidacy in light of these revelations? There appears to be concern in the emails uh, by the Clinton campaign, even before they got off the ground, about the relationship between Goldman Sachs and the Clinton Foundation. In fact, in May 2014, soon to be Clinton campaign manager Robbie Mook asked, uh, suggested that it was troubling that Golden, Goldman Sachs had been chosen to host an event for the Clinton Foundation. Shannon? All right, Jennifer Griffin, live following the Clinton campaign. Thank you.